Hello, my name is Chad Varney and I'm an application engineer here at Ally PLM Solutions. And I'm excited to take a look at the new CamWorks for Solid Edge knowledge based CAM software. CamWorks for Solid Edge is the first embedded CAM software for Solid Edge. As you'll see in this demonstration, the automatic feature recognition within CamWorks combined with synchronous technology in Solid Edge makes for an extremely powerful combination. So let's take a look at using CamWorks for Solid Edge. It's basically an imported model. I have added some features on the back side of this, but for the most part, this is an imported model uh, or just a dumb solid. All these shapes on the top are, are imported geometry. And again, I've just added some, some features on the bottom of this. This is a pretty good example because this has some through holes, some cobores, some rectangular slots. Um, this shape in the middle is a 3D contoured shape. It's got an angled bottom. Also, the shapes on the bottom, we have this open slot area, and then we have an, an, uh, a pocket that's got an irregular shape on it, and then some blind holes as well. All right, so let's take a look at uh, how quickly um, CamWorks can extract the machinable features. I'm just going to go over to my CamWorks tab, extract machinable features. What we'll notice is um, that this automatically creates two setups for us. All right, we have a part setup one and a part setup two. All right, so part setup one, we have the cobores and through holes, and then next we have a group um, that's going to machine these rectangular pockets. All right, we'll get to this inner inner shape here in just just a minute. All right, and then we'll look at the bottom side, and it does these blind holes. Uh, this open pocket, and then also this uh, regular shape pocket. All right, so now all we need to do is generate an operation plan and generate toolpaths. And let's take a look and see what, what we have here. We have our center drill operation, our drilling operation, our cobore, rough milling for the pockets, finish milling for the pockets, and then we'll flip it over under our setup two. We have center drills for the blind holes, drilling operations for the blind holes, rough milling for this open slot over here, finish milling for the open slot, rough milling for this irregular shape pocket, and then finish milling. So very quickly, uh, CamWorks uh, extracted the machinable features and then selected all of our tools and, and operations for us. And this is based on the technical database. What I've just done here is all out of the box. This is um, nothing has been set up or, or, or customized um, for these operations. This is right out of the box um, based on, on the CamWorks technical database. So a uh, good uh, quick quick way to do things, um, especially with, with these, these shapes. So. Um, you can fully customize this um, based on how you want to cut things, the type of tools that you have. So um, just just keep that in mind. So all right now, what we're going to do is take a look at this inner shape here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip over to um, machinable features. I'm going to insert uh, a new multi-surface feature, and I'm going to use the area clearance, Z level, and pattern project. And I'm going to use um, I'm just going to let it pick all of these faces and then we'll limit it to this um, inner area here in just a second. All right now this is a strategy that that I've customized just a little bit. I've, I've used Z level and pattern project with those which those are pretty much out of the box and then on our area clearance or our roughing strategy um, I've, I've changed this one a little bit. Um, I've used volume mill to rough, rough this inner pocket out so we'll take a look at that. All right, so now I'm just going to do a uh, generate operation plan. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a contain area. Like I said, I, I selected all these faces, so I'm just going to insert a contain area on all of these. Okay. And now I'm just going to generate these toolpaths. And what this is going to do is, as I had mentioned, we're going to we're going to use the volume mill roughing strategy, 
and then the Z level is going to cut the, the steeper areas and then the pattern project is going to cut these uh, shallow areas. All right, so here is our volume mill roughing strategy, and I'll go ahead and simulate that through. As you can see with volume mill, we're using the side of the tool instead of the the tip of the tool. Um, makes for longer um, tool life, and then as well as a lot faster uh, cutting time. So very efficient way to use volume mill roughing. So now you can see within just a matter of a few minutes we've programmed this part completely. Now we all know that in manufacturing things change and that's when the use of synchronous technology can come into play. Let's simulate a couple changes by using synchronous technology. First I'm going to take this face and just just move it up uh, 200 thousandths. All right, and Kimworks automatically asks, you know, the, the model has changed. Do we want to go ahead and, and rebuild this right now? I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel because I'm going to do another change. And let's take this pocket here and pull it. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull it all the way into this other pocket. All right, and now I want to go ahead and do a full rebuild. This is going to automatically recalculate all the cutter paths based on those synchronous changes that we've made. All right, so let's take a look. Um, we see now that our area clearance operation and our Z level is at that new depth. All right, and then let's flip this over and take a look at our um, roughing. You can see that that roughs that pocket out. Now it's going into the opening of that other pocket, and then it finishes it as well. All right, so just a, a really good way to um, adapt to changes quickly. Um, make a couple. I just made a couple of synchronous changes, and then was able to um, let let CamWorks automatically rebuild uh, that those cutter paths. So very very quick way to do that. All right, so I want to thank you for taking a look at uh, the new CamWorks for Solid Edge. Uh, I think that this is um, uh, obviously a very, very powerful tool with the use of synchronous technology and um, the, the CamWorks automatic feature recognition. I think that this is a, a combination that, that nobody else um, has. So uh, very, very uh, um, quick and, and, and efficient way to do things. So I want to thank you for joining us. If you want more information, go to www.liplm.com